the people welcome back to my patreon page uh, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green I'm your host Shaheen um, Monday we have seen some price action although the most of the uh, the analysis still stays uh, same but there's a little uh, price a little correction so I need to add into the analysis that I shared on weekend so in today's analysis we are going to update our analysis regarding Dow Jones S&P 500 British pound uh, euro uh, silver and gold so let's dive in and see what's quickly happening first of all we are well on our way uh, to see the completion of this wave it looks like that we are going to uh, make a little more room upwards before we uh, the crash that I said I'm expected a deeper crash in, in Dow Jones and I think that is gonna stay for a good while so it looks to me that there is a little more price action left upside as far as Dow Jones is concerned we can definitely definitely use uh, this line to see where the prices are heading but uh, in case of a confirmation we need a confirmation to see that the prices are heading down uh, so a break of 34,370 would be a confirmation which is a horizontal support uh, right now I'm expecting that a little push upward tomorrow is uh, expected and today is expected as well too so um, it may push a little more deeper but we'll keep an eye on this one in case price goes deeper further we can definitely increase our uh, support resist to right from over here uh, which is 34,550 and now the point here is that once this structure is complete which actually started right from over here uh, there is also possibility that this structure can evolve into this structure complete uh, correction another structure which is a double three structure so a zigzag another zigzag and a flat correction it, it could turn into double three correction uh, that would mean that the prices are going a little deeper than thought initially uh, probably creating a double top with this one and uh, that's you also a very good structure for uh, for distribution that means that we have an impulsive and a collective wave hole and then we are expecting the prices to go down in Dow Jones a similar kind of pr price structure is occurring in uh, in S&P 500 too once again we have horizontal support lying right over here too and this is looking more uh, of a double three structure we have let me drop this we have an impulsive wave and we have a zigzag another zigzag and we have an expanded flat creating probably a double top with this one which is also a good indication of finding support and then once the prices fall below this horizontal support we are expecting S&P to dive down downward dive downward in the next few days this is going to be very important and it looks like we are going to see some strong strong price movement uh, as far as S&P and Dow Jones are concerned I'm, a, I'm bearish strongly bearish on both of them uh, we just need to find some confirmation and definitely we will find more confirmation when prices actually fall below this one so I hope uh, I was able to help you guys with this one um, British pound is on its way uh, as per our forecast I did indicate to you guys that you we were expecting uh, British pound to form a double bottom with this one or at least go in the lower end it has gone in right from over here to all the way right over here and uh, let me zoom in on the 15 minute time frame we can see that this is probably a corrective wave and we are heading downwards so I'm expecting that we are going to move further down and a little more depth is uh, is uh, still left um, once the price move further down we can definitely use this price action as a as a resistance and we can also use this area for a confirmation of uh, trend reversal so once prices come down and go above this particular horizontal uh, resistance that will be indication that we have completed the bottom right over here and then we can go long right over here it will be very good entry point for going long in British pound uh, what we would be expecting we would definitely be expecting a new high beyond this one uh, and somewhere right, right over here there's a possibility there's a structural resistance right over here there's a possibility some resistance would come right over here so British pound is getting ready uh, to give us if some of you guys actually traded the bear side and then we are getting close to the uh, the completion of the trend Euro is uh, is gone uh, this is one thing that I wanted to share we were expecting that this will go on stop right over here and move forward however as you guys can see that we are right now we have gone up a little but I'm considering this as a as a correction and giving an indication that the trend actually started from over here is yet not complete so we are expecting for the price to give us a uh, 
a deeper dive and there is a possibility we can create a double bottom uh, with this one right over here so this is an interesting price pattern that uh, we are looking into as long press stays below this top we're expecting it to go down deeper right now and once the price has dived down deeper then we definitely expecting for the bullish price uh, action to come back in in that case we can definitely use this resistance this support turn into resistance and when prices cross this resistance uh, we can get a confirmation that we are long and that definitely we can use a bottom right over here this one as a reference point for our stop losses or whatever you want to do now, but uh, there is a little correction we are supposed to go up but a little more downward price action is left in euro this was one I wanted to add on to uh, not only euro but also looks on a uh, on a 30 minute time frame that the correction actually started right from over here is yet not complete uh, because we have seen the second leg and the correction is much deeper uh, in the third leg so I'm considering this as a first leg a second leg and a third leg uh, I think let me have a look on a 50 minute time frame so there is another price movement there is I think we are very very close to forming the bottom right over here uh, a double top with this one or just a bit higher would be very very uh, uh, close to the the completion of the pattern that actually started from over here this will be giving us a double top right over here with this one and double bottom with this one and if you are one to consider this one this can give you triple bottom um, once again I'm bullish is only that the trend actually started from over here is yet not complete we were considering that the trend is complete and you are considering it as a smaller wave one and wave two but the strength of this wave is indicating that this structure was not impulsive so that means that this is an impulsive uh, structure and the correct structure that actually started right from over here is still undergoing and we're expecting for bottom to be created probably uh, by the end of today's trading session a similar pattern is going on in gold and I wanted to discuss that too um, and once again let me show you the whole uh, pattern and I'm expecting that the pattern that actually started right from over here is yet not complete we are very very close to the completion of the pattern I'm expecting that we can actually see a low lower than this one right over here and that would be probably be done by the end of today or we might take uh, Asian session to complete this price movement that's actually going on so keep in mind that this actually can come to uh, this area creating a double bottom with this one so just do not be really careful when you go long and uh, we can definitely definitely use a horizontal uh, confirmation signal and I think this one is a good one uh, let's increase first of all this one and when prices move further down then definitely we can bring uh, this one down right over here giving us an, a good point of reference when prices cross this area horizontal support which is 1940 uh, this would turn into resistance uh, when the price break 1940 resistance that will be an indication that we can go long um, and we can actually find the bottom right over this one or we can actually use this bottom to go long uh, this was a li little uh, correction that we have seen in the market the longer term trend stays same we are bullish on gold and silver uh, we are bullish on euro and uh, British pound and I'm strongly strongly bearish on uh, uh, Dow Jones and S&P 500 uh, we have one more chart and that's crude oil uh, some stunning price action that have was forecasted we have already seen uh, part of that forecast so I told you guys that you are going to be bearish and a lot of uh, I got some heat from uh, for that and uh, I think that we are going to stay bearish in uh, in, uh, in in crude oil all right so we have a confirmation now that the trend that actually started right from over here uh, is complete so we can consider this price movement whole price movement as wave a b and c and uh, let me delete these lines so we can actually see some price action clearly so there is a possibility there is a strong possibility that we will uh, see a price correction all right we are seeing price movement downward and I'm expecting that we shall be seeing uh, the correction coming in whether it would start right over here or over here we cannot say but definitely an impulsive move downward and we're expecting for the price movement to go upward so where exactly would that turn come up 
Uh, we are exactly not sure, but I'm expecting that. I was told you guys that I'm expecting in this turn into wave one and two and three and four and five. So this is what I'm expecting, and we have seen uh, wave one happening. I'm going to wait for wave two to complete, giving me confirmation that the correction in wave two is complete. Then I'll go short. But one thing that has happened really good is that we have actually started the impulsive move downward, and we have also broken this structure. We can see from the uh, the diagonal support, and we can also see from the horizontal support being broken, and giving us an indication that the structure that actually started right from over here, wave A, wave B, and wave C, which is a flat correction, expanded flat correction, is now complete. We can uh, definitely now delete this. We don't need this. Uh, and uh, we are right now expecting a turn to be giving us an indication that we can join the trend downward. Uh, where exactly once again that turn would come on a smaller time frame is too difficult to call a 15 minute chart. Um, but I'm going to wait for the pullback. Mm, prices definitely can go further more down and then, then give us a pullback. But I'm going to wait for the pullback. Uh, next few days are interesting for gold and support. Uh, other commodities that we have and forex pairs that we have discussed. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye bye.